Oh, it's too. Guys, we're hooked up on a on a giant on a good fish. I don't we don't know yet how big he is, but if that was his tail, he big. He real big. If, I, if that was what I was seeing. Of course I wasn't holding a lot of pressure on it, but I'm gonna spot lock this whenever we get too crazy here. This is our first pass. This is our first yeah. This is our second fish on our first pass. We got a good one. <laughs> oh, 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 man. The net ain't big enough. I got a new PB. We get this bad boy in a boat. Oh, goodness. Tank. Tank. Oh, my God. Tank. Oh, my Lord. Tank. Got him. He's in the net. Hell yeah. Now. Dang. Woo. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm gonna need help. <laughs> <laughs> I need your hand here, Roger. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. <laughs> Don't let him go. Oh my god. You got a mess? I want spotlights. Look right there in the corner of the mouth. Right behind, you know how it's got that plate? Holy cow. That's an epic fish there, buddy. Now it's got notches in it where you can like put them you know, around it. We've got a giant. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. We'll try to wait now. Yeah, let's go ahead and wait. We already know. And yeah, we're going to use the, the uh, channel locks. I already looked. That gives us a good handle. Biggest fish of my life right here. Bigger than anything I ever caught. Dad, go first first pass. Yeah. Right, I can move the cord because I'm gonna have to hang it right here. I don't think we even need to wind him up.
bunch of little stuff inside. I can't figure out which uh, unit it's on. It says gin. Scales that can stay. Enough those batteries in the truck didn't make good ones. Try to get these batteries to get this scale working. I don't have a good scale. My whisker seeker scale got wet and it got ruined one time. And uh, his whis whisker seeker scale. The screws to change the batteries are so small. He bought a precision screwdriver set, which went down to zero, and it still wasn't small enough to get the back plate off to change the batteries. His batteries are dead. And now my scale is acting stupid. Biggest fish of my life. Moisture in it? Yeah, it's got an extra set of lines. That's zero. What's it showing right now? It's coming up between 79 and 80. Seventy-eight even. It was seventy-nine five in the net, minus a pound and a half of this net without the handle. Seventy-eight pounds bumping, baby. Hell yeah! <laughs> Michael Morillo is on here. Bullock Experience, Yada Boy, Troy, Off the Riz, Catfish Hunter. Wow, guys. This thing is a beast. I mean, a crazy beast. This that this is nuts. It's the biggest fish ever been in the boat. He still hit. He does. Oh. He's, oh. he's gonna beat you to death. Oh. oh, he's crushing my hand. Oh, he's beating me. Oh. Oh, oh my God, go, look, ah, hell yeah, <laughs> woo, no, I just snap a bunch, <laughs> oh, so this way, there, oh yeah, <laughs> All right, this guy's been out of the water a long time. Holy cow. Although he ain't hurt me. Uh, he's he's going to fight me out the boat. There he goes. Hang on to him, make sure he's good to go. There he goes. 
Uh, he's got plenty of fight in him, that's for sure. Yeah, he's kicking my butt. Whoa. We're both trying to catch our breath here. He's getting feisty. He's getting ready to bolt. I'm going to text. I don't know if I can even check this. Look how epic it is. 78 pounds. Oh, he just pulled away. There he goes. Gone. Gone. <laughs> ah, baby. Woo. <laughs> That's why we came down here. Woo. Yes, sir. All right, we got to get some. Uh, we got to get things sprayed down. One of the best accessories you can buy for a boat. You got a boat like this is this wash down pump. He pooped and slimed up the deck so bad it's dangerous. We get this pump here. Everything sprayed off, you washed off, wash myself off, slime all over me. Feeling good, baby. Brother, give yourself of that. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you, Lord. Man, oh man. Man, oh man, oh man. You guys, I know Ernie Brown was in here earlier, brother. We were talking, uh, we were texting back and forth this morning before we went live. So. Who was it? Ernie Brown. We, uh, <laughs> I, I scheduled live feed for about an hour from the time we get started. Give us time to well, settle in just, a little bit. I, I think we just started. Yeah. I didn't start it until I was already hooked up. I knew it was a I good mean, fish. We caught a little fish. And then we just threw it back. Keep watching it. Well, no, I, I didn't start it until I was hooked up on this fish. Oh, I'm sorry. It, 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 as soon as you, as soon as you start the video, we're hooked up. First fish, what you were going to buy this. Second fish, the first fish is still alive, which is right by the started. So I, like I said, I knew that it was going to be a good fish. Um, 78. I did not expect it to be that good. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's going to take weeks to wipe this smile off my face. Uh, sorry if I'm missing you guys' comments. Got caught up right here. Man, oh man. <laughs> What an experience that was. Yeah. Biggest one's ever been in this you boat. Never, you've never been bumping before. Okay, I'll tell you. We came, we came down here to. Oh, my God. We're both shaking. We're shaking so much. Oh, yeah. Like put bait on. Slime all over me. <laughs> all right. We'll see you after a while. We came down here to, to catch the big fish. And we've been having a blast. We've been catching 30s and 40s. Uh. Last couple of days, boom, came out this morning, 78. come out this morning and bumped the 78 on our first pass. I'll try to see Jason Lamb's in the house. Your boy, Troy Kelly, huh? Michael Murillo's in the house. Mr. Ernie Brown, Fab Fishing, Bobcat Outdoors, V3 Custom Band, Solo Texan, Lee Evans. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I appreciate you being here. Oh, boy. Oh, fishing with the Chad. Thank you, brother. Mike Greenwell in the house. Bumping, buddy. Get down here. <laughs> I don't know that anybody really bumps um, this dam. I, I've never seen videos from here. Maybe people do. Maybe it's a secret. I just blew everybody's cover. I don't know. Mr. T-Bone, Slime Action Outdoors. What's up, brother? Jazz, my wife is watching. Good. Thank you. Thank you. If you think about that, I've been gone for a few days. Philip Williams, 
Jennifer Hopper. Hopefully Bill got to catch a little bit of that. 78 pounds of 79 and a half in the net. Minus a pound and a half for the net, about what we usually go with. And uh, Kayak Mike, what's going on, brother? Oh, yeah, I broke that 43, pal, about PB. I can't talk. Almost doubled it. Oh, man. All right, guys, we're going to get – we're going to get <clears> – we cut my sinker off. So the, the sinker always causes a mess in the net. And uh, what a fish that big. I didn't care if you cut the line, cut the net – or not the net, cut the sinker. Get my sinker tied back on, man. We're going to go up and we're going to bump some more. Hey, your hook is good. My hook is good? Yeah. The line is hot. You need to replace it. This leader? The yeah, leader? It's trapped several places. Okay. I got another leader right here. So that fish totally tore my leader up. That's why I run 80 pound heavy. Is that fish's teeth? Yeah, let me get set up so we can get back up. Fish's teeth, very sharp. They're that big. Alright, got my tide right here. So we're gonna cut that leader off. Here's what we're using for bait. Whole skip jack. They're not big ones. There's and we kind of give them a little flapper on the back. A new dropper on while you're doing that because mine's a little bit short. So uh, we're going to get our gear back together and ready to catch another one. I said uh, my, leader, my leader's got a couple nicks in it, and uh, when you're fishing, when you're fishing to fish the biggest fish in the water, catch the biggest fish in the water. You guys have heard me say it a million times: the best way to catch a big fish is be prepared to catch a big fish and uh we go through great lengths to make sure we're prepared and uh it all paid off Whew. i'd like to thank my sponsors <laughs> nobody <laughs> my, look, hey look at all these fish look that's why there, there's big fish under us. there's big fish under us right now right now I think he just wants to get back in the boat. He enjoyed himself so much. He heard all this hooting and hollering. He just, he said, man, that's, that sounds like fun. I wanted to be part of that. <clears throat> I'm shaking so bad. I can't even tie my leader. Can't even tie my leader line. Shaking, adrenaline pumping all through my body. Got my leader here. I accidentally tied it wrong. I, I need to my uh, got to have my bumper or my sinker in line with my main line. I tied it wrong for bumping, so switch my move my swivel. And to I saw his tail. I just saw the end of his tail, and he was on. He was down. Whoa, we're marking some big fish. There's, there's, there's crazy big fish. There's more of them in here. That's, that's a cool thing. There's lots more where he came from. We may never leave. back on there we're going to race go back up the top and run it again so i actually caught a smaller fish i don't know what it was ten, about 10 pounds on the way uh on the same pass i caught a 10 pounder and uh, you know we just kind of filling things out until uh, it was time to go live when I hooked that guy there, I knew he was going to be a good fish. I had no idea he was going to be a giant. So I went ahead and kicked the live stream on a few minutes early, an hour early. I don't even know what time zone we're in. It, it changes three times from here. We live, or we live, our hotel is 15 minutes away from this dam. And uh, 
or the next boat ramp is it, we go through th three different time zones on the way back to the hotel or to the next uh, boat ramp. Right on the Naked Jacks, right here close to the Tennessee, Alabama, Georgia. We don't know where we are. I don't know what time it is. We, we don't know what time it is ever. Back to a three. All right. Uh, I want three right now. Show you guys the rig. I'm running here in just a second. To get this thing uh, tied on the line. Get ready to rock and roll again. I just, that's, that's what happened to me. I, Which way's up, Parker? I'm so excited. We're over here making mistakes because uh, our adrenaline's pumping so fast. All right. DMV, Whisker King, what's going on? Thanks for stopping in. Uncle Lou's in the house. I don't know if you caught the beginning of that video there. We just bumped up a 78-pound blue cat. We went right back to where we left off yesterday. And uh, so the rig I'm running is a... Uh, cut this off real quick. I got it. I'm still shaking. I am too. I, I'm... It'll be a while before we settle down from that. <laughs> All right, so here. All right, so we got the three-way rig. So I got my main line, which is 80-pound braid. I like using the uh, suffix 832 uh, braid. It comes down to my main line. And then off the side, that swivel actually comes down to my leader, which goes to a ball chain swivel. And it goes to a rattle float and my hook i always like to leave my hook trail just a couple inches behind my thought process is when that fish comes up and grabs this i want him to get all the hook i don't want him to hit my demon dragon or style float and uh not get his lips all the way around it and drops on down to we're running a three ounce cannonball hooking up the bait and just bumping down through here another bait on do it again we're just using some small skip jack that's that's pretty much what we was able to get a hold of I'm just cutting the tail off and uh putting a little neck up of the spine there to make sure he's He's spitting out blood, and uh, away we go. Hey. <laughs> Love it. Let's try it again. Lo Let me get this bait on real quick. I'll get that. I'll get that. Somebody's dinging me here. I better check. No, I didn't because I don't have her lane service. So that's pretty much how I do my bait. I just cut the end of him off like that. 
which exposes the spine a little bit. And I usually run, I usually put a couple slits in the very back of him there, exposes the spine, gets all that bloody stuff going. And the current actually kind of draws that out the back of him and just leaves one heck of a scent trail. And on top of the scent trail, I'm bringing the bait right to his face. Roger D. Okay, you ready? I do not tie the float, uh, Mike Greenwell. I, I basically weave it through the line. Um, this is the one I just cut off from what I was using. So basically, I just start at the eye, run it through. And if you go in through the same side each time, through each eye, it puts just enough tension on it. It, it really don't move much. As soon as you put pressure on it. As soon as you, yeah, as soon as it gets a little bit of pressure. Hey. Let's go do it again. I do not tie him. I don't trust it either. It's still on. Alright. I keep seeing so many fish. We we got a lot of fish underneath of us. We're getting excited. Tim Scott's in the house. He says, holy cats. Monsters, first fish. It was actually, the, it was our first bump down through there. It was my second fish already this morning. Uh, first fish was about 10 pounds. But it was our first pass. Uh, Zach got hit a few times too, so they're hungry. We'll go up here and do it again. Sue's in the house. She says, good morning. Good morning, Sue. Thanks for letting me. Zach for a week. Good luck out there today. <laughs> Hope you catch a big one. Roger Anderson, thanks for the tip. I'll put it to good use now. No problem, man. Chuck is in the house. Congratulations, my friend, driving and listing. Well, be careful. And uh, if you didn't, if you just didn't drop the motor, yeah. if you just tuned in the very beginning of the video, I'm hooked up to the fish. So. It makes a good live stream. You don't have to scroll three hours in or. I think I seen a comment about the ball chain, the chain. They do have, uh, they do have a grade on them just like a swivel. So you want to make sure you use one. We're good. Prepare it for the situation that you're using. Uh, this chain swivel I've got, I think, is rated for 175 pounds or 200 pounds. This is overkill, but especially in current, your bait's going to twist a lot. So you don't want that line to twist up and uh, just start causing problems. I'll bump it down through here. Once in the water, a lot of big rocks in here. A little tricky to get started. Things smooth out once you get a little bit farther away from the dam. But uh, we're right behind the hydro plant. They're letting a little bit of water out of the dam. Yesterday they had all the gates open. Looks like the water came up and went down four feet while we were gone. There was a trash line on the boat ramp that was not there when we left. The rocks are all wet. Now they actually brought the water up four feet and back down four feet. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it is. 
like when we got back there, it was going to be far. rocks in here you get hung up well there's that dead fight the second you lose bottom you've got to start railing Catching toads while bumping outside. That's, a, that's not even a toad. That's a whole other something. <laughs> that's an epic fish. That is a. Did you hit? I thought it was. But it didn't. Sometimes these rocks will fool you. Your your sinker go bounce around on box. Roger's setting the bar high for us, Zach. No, skip. That's a great fish, but I came to an area that holds oh, great. That's not it. That's not the very upper end of the potential here. I mean, I guess it's close, 80 pounds. So 80 to 100 pounds, that's that's the top end. But you caught a 65 and a 60 in the same year out of the Ohio River. And I don't care how many fish I catch. It's not going to be the same as that. That's 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 amazing. You know, trophies are relevant to the, the water you fish. You know, some fisheries, your trophy is a 25-pound channel cat. You catch a fish in the 20 pound range, you are in trophy status, and that might only be 20 pounds. You know, or that fish. You know, we didn't measure it or nothing. No. But it went weird to the close side. Did it really? <laughs> oh man. The catfishing broadcast booth is tuned in this morning. Smash that thumbs up. Thank you, thank you. That's. That's not an exciting way to start a live stream. I don't know what is. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> That's as good as it gets right there. Man, of all time. Uh-oh, got hit. Oh, oh Zach's on. Zach's on. He's got a fish. I'm going to keep bumping for a minute. He, I'm back farther than him, so I'm kind of out of the way. I'm not out of the way yet. Fish on, second pass, third fish. And I'm greedy, so I'm gonna keep bumping. Uh, got a good one? Oh, he's, he's on top of the water. I, I thought right. he was bigger than that. He wasn't flipping any. He wasn't flipping. He's not a monster. He's a nice one, but he ain't no monster. He might be a flipper in him. Somebody at first, he's not flipping. You catch, get on the smaller fish down here, you know, they start flipping and carrying on. You know how you know, channel cats and small blues are. When they start flipping and flopping and carrying on, you can tell it's not really a bigger 13 pound fish, right? Like it ain't nothing. Yeah, about 13 pounds, and we're calling them a dink. At home, they we super thrilled with 13, 14 pound fish all day. Is he hooked on? Okay, you want me netting? All right. We're in a, a hot spot. Uh, if you guys were watching yesterday, we said that when we get every time we get close to these power lines, uh, there's a little drop off. We go from 12 to 20. And I kept the sinker out too so far. so far. He's got some skill. Here, I'll turn the camera. You guys don't want to watch me. You want to see fish. Right there it is. Zach's landed his own fish. Look at that! I kept the sinker out. That was the whole. That was my whole goal right there. All right, we're back here in the hot zone. Like I said, it drops. It drops from 12 feet to 20 feet. 
And uh, every time we come over that drop, we have to pick up fish. All right, I'm going to stop my bump and get a picture here for Zach. Actually, if we do this right, I could probably take a picture with one hand and keep bumping with the other. If, we, if you're in the right situation where it's not taking line out, though, it's trying to take line out. Actually, I'm doing really good. I have some skill to bump with one hand, take a photo with the next. There it there is. It there it is. It's a nice one, too. It's just, it's not 78. That's all. We're greedy now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm thankful for this one just as much. I mean, it's wow. That's a nice fish. Nice big belly on him. There he goes. Quality Back fish. to the desk. It's pretty nice when you get to the boat ramp and you load one rod, one catfish rod in your boat. That's it. That's all you get. Throw the bumping rod in, leave everything else in the truck. The current actually picks up back through here. Well, the lower current, the surface current, the lower. Yeah, the, the current on the bottom seems to take off a little bit faster. It varies all the way down through here. Ohio catfish chasers, do you even remember how to do this? <laughs> hey, I had my Ohio catfish chaser shirt on yesterday, catching catching good fish yesterday. Had everybody in chat want Ohio catfish chaser shirt. Uncle Lou package came. Wow, awesome stuff in there, man! If you guys haven't already looked into Uncle Lou, first of all, I'm I've been running all Uncle Lou's rods. Uh, ever except, since. except for your bumping rod. Yeah, that he's got an orange rod, but it's not a Uncle Lou's. Um, it's the only rod I I have that I'm using that's not Uncle Lou's rod. But I've I've been using them and loving them. And uh, they're pretty. They <laughs> they do get a lot of attention. I'm telling you, you go to a boat ramp, and so as there's always somebody saying, "Hey, look at them rods! What kind of rods is that?" Uh, I just happen to love orange anyway, so it, <laughs> it's awesome. Uh, but the, the, the terminal tackle as well, uh, you know, got demon style rattle floats, bead swivels, uh, line rattles, floats, hooks. Uh, plan you guys have already known that uh, I'm a huge fan of the planer boards. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, the best, best planer board on the market. Best, it's definitely the best planer board I've used, and I've used a lot. So, I think Uncle Lou's still in here. So, his head might just swelled up a little bit, but that's okay. He deserves it, man. He does so much for everybody in the catfish community, and he's in a lot of pain right now. Uh, so, if you haven't said a prayer today for, for Lee Reed, he could he could use it. Yeah, I can't believe that. I got off our routine this morning. Zach and I are very uh, dedicated to routine. And when we got our routine messed up, we mess everything up. <laughs> OCC, go back to the beginning. Yeah, if you guys go back to the very beginning of the live stream, you don't have to do it now. You might miss the next one. But uh, we landed a 78-pound <laughs> blue cat at the beginning of the stream. 
team effort. Me and Zach have been fortunate enough to, to get them to spend a lot of time together lately on the water, and uh, we, we kind of know each other's step, one step ahead. And it works really well when you're on the boat and you get a big fish and you got to chase it down or it comes a net net, just whatever, complications. We just, we just seem to work flawlessly through it. Uncle Lou, nah, my head don't swell. I consider myself a very humble man. And thank you, Roger. Hey, it, all truth. The truth flows fluently from my tongue. Isn't it a beautiful foggy morning back here? So majestic and quiet. No Tuesday morning. There's no boats out here. I hadn't, uh, I, I hadn't figured out exactly what we're doing this evening to, to come up with a uh, live stream for tonight. Um, <laughs> you know, one, it depends on where we are. If I even have to be out here. <laughs> my, yeah. I don't know. We'll die by 7 p.m. 12 hours of bumping. <laughs> I don't know. You keep catching nice fish. You'd be surprised what you'll put your body through to do it. We run on zero sleep, hardly any food. Okay. We eat a lot of food. You guys, you guys can see me. <laughs> you see the camera. I don't need a scale. I got a mirror. I need to lose some weight. I don't really, I don't plan on getting skinny. I just, I just want my belly not to jiggle when I brush my teeth. And I even have an electric toothbrush. Just over here. Now we're in the current of the. We're, 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 doing 1.1. we're doing good. No, we're we're uh, we're floating back about a one mile an hour right now, and it, it's still pulling line out. We adjust the boat sometimes. Rocks or something there. Big thuds. I haven't had any thuds for a while, so leave me off guard. I can't bargain with a lot of fuel. Surprisingly, it's still pretty good. DMV, I'll be missing tonight's fishing. I'll be out there myself fishing. Normal Tuesday schedule. Yeah, good luck to you, brother. It's, it, it's with the way things are now, it's hard to have a scheduled stream without bumping into somebody. And uh, myself personally, I, I think it's fantastic. I don't mind. Everybody can go live on Tuesday night. You know, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't bother me. It gives you guys lots of opportunity and choices to view what you want to view. And I love the same thing when, I've, when I'm watching YouTube at night and there's two or three people live. I bounce around, troll, check things out. More so to, to keep up with the, everybody in chat and, you know, pay my respects to the angler out fishing this is not easy doing live fishing for those guys that are in chat here that do it hey there's a uh, big mike talking about i heard a 78 pounder was caught by by oh caught here awesome job roger yeah very beginning of the stream if you uh, go back to the beginning uh once we're done or if you want to do it now you can go back and watch the beginning 78 pounder landed first fish of the live stream Biggest fish in my life. <laughs> I am tickled to death. Oh, there's so many who go live. It's definitely hard not to run over others. So many have gotten into live streaming. Yeah, you're absolutely right. It's, you know, some guys take it personal, honestly. And, uh, you know, I'm not one of them. Uh, I'm live right now, which nobody's probably live on a Tuesday morning, but. How many we got in chat? We got 33 folks in chat. Wow. You still down here? Yeah, I'm still down here. We're right below Nick and Jack. Uh, Big Mike. Something happened? 
Morning, big Mike. Just uh, hooked, hooked five, landed four. When are we leaving? Uh, we don't even know. We know we got to leave. We got to head back to Ohio Friday. Friday morning. Friday morning. That's going to be hard to peel us off of this dam. I'm telling you that. Every fish, I think, every fish we've caught been here. No, we did. You caught a 39. Yeah, I caught a 39 over at uh, Chattanooga Dam. Uh, Zach looked up on the maps here. Uh, there's 26 dams <laughs> through the Tennessee River chain in the area that we're at. You know, we're above us. Above us, yeah. You got Watts Bar. You got Gunners. Uh, we're on Gunnersville Lake, technically, where we're fishing below Nickajack Dam. This is actually the Gunnersville watershed that we're on. I know it's confusing. Most people think the water below the dam is belongs to the dam head, but it don't. The dam holds the water back for the pool above it. We're Nick and Jack Dam bumping Gunnersville. Pilot Catfish Chaser says, wow, nice fish, Roger. Your PB is a little bigger than the one I caught this weekend. I'm going to go on a limb and say it's probably eight yours. Could have ate yours. Man, I'm jealous of that fish you caught at the beginning of the stream, live stream, brother. That is a monster. Thank you, brother. I do appreciate that. That's the biggest. I, I don't even like saying PB. PB just downplays the 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 title it's the biggest fish of my life and that sounds so much more dramatic what we're deserving for a fish of that caliber anybody's pb that's the biggest fish of your life i wrote it down to four yeah still marking a lot of fish so there was a school up there we're catching up to a pony uh, line. They're still going out. I'm not having to feed it in. Oh, yeah, okay, that's what it is. Still okay. I mean, you can still. Can we catch up to it? Where are you at? Well, I can't do a bottom. Technically, good. Marking so many fish, small ones that we're marking a lot of fish. So it's a good area. We're gonna keep on. We're gonna keep on uh, going down through there. Looks like y'all teasing the high catfish chasers. <laughs> Roger, we can do a collab show tonight after mine if you want to. Who um, said Kelly Bullock, Bullock Experience. Hey, do you got anybody on the show tonight, Kelly? Now these boys are practicing the seven P's. No doubt. That's why they're catching big fish, brother. I'm guessing he's met seven seas, brothers and sisters. God bless. Roger and Zach, you're fun to watch. Appreciate that, man. That means a lot, Roger. We uh we just we absolutely love catching these fish. And sharing the excitement with you guys is is just fun for us. <clears throat> and every now and then we could share something that might help somebody out. Lord knows I've, I've learned a lot from other people and uh, I just feel I'd pay it forward and pass information on that. Generally, I try to use the information before I pass it on to make sure it's valid. Yesterday, we had a guy tell us, or day before, I believe, had a guy tell us, we was out here trying to catch skipjack. He said, oh, yeah, if you go on the other side of the dam, you can catch all the skipjack you want with a cast net. 
Um, you can catch skipjack with a cast net. It's it's not the it's not the preferred way, and it, they're fast. Uh, I doubt we could have got what we got on cast net. So we was uh, we was half struggling getting bait down here, to be honest. And uh, Wheeler Dam is two hours from here. And we made the call uh, night before. Said, hey, you know, we could we could spend two or three hours every morning trying to catch fresh break bait. Or we can drive two hours down to Wilson, Wheeler, and get all the bait we need for a few days and save ourselves a lot of time, technically. And so that's what we did. We, we went down there, loaded up. Like I said, I showed you guys the size of the skipjack we're using, you know, uh, what are they about 10 inches somewhere around there about 10 inches skipjack we got some bigger ones too we got a few small ones but on average around 10 inch skipjack and uh, we're using them whole and uh, we got about 60 of them and just just a couple hours and uh, <laughs> it's that's part of the fishing trip too that's just fun dark 30 what's going on thanks for tuning in you have catfish regulators and LG bass tonight. Holy smokes. That's going to be a good show. Going to be a good show. I didn't I didn't have anybody scheduled this week because I knew I was coming down here. And uh, I knew I was coming down here, so I, I left my schedule open, not knowing what was going to happen. You guys pay attention to us. We... You never know where we're going to be. Fish ain't biting. We're not having much luck doing one thing. We'll go do something else. This trip, we've tried drifting deep water, which we marked fish. We drifted water between 70 and 130 feet deep. We marked fish through most of it. We seem to mark the majority of the fish uh, between 70 and 90, to be honest. 60 to 90. Uh, <laughs> After my show, I can let them go or they can stay up and I can send you the link. You can go live on my channel if you want. Uh, might do that. Might do that. It depends on what I'm doing. If, if I'm fishing, that'd be kind of cool because it's hard to pay read the chat if somebody's talking. Uh, if I had a moderator on this background here. We're staying when you need him. <laughs> Shared it out. Thank you, Skip. Appreciate it, buddy. I know it's, I know the feeling. You're sitting at home watching uh, your buddies catch fish. It's, it's uh, bittersweet. Like, oh, man, awesome. Way to go, guys. And you're like, man, I want to go. Got a hit. Got a hit. Got, got bit. We'll keep working down through here. There's one. Oh, there it is again. Uh oh. Fish is back. I'm going to turn you guys a little bit. You guys can't really. There you go. I'm trying to see Zach over there. He's there. Ah. Guess not. One of the things that we do, and I don't know if it's, uh, I don't know if it's normal for guys that bump or not. So I won't, I won't say to do this. I'll say that's what we're doing, though. When we get a hit, we just stop. We just let that bait sit there for a second and see if that fish will go ahead and commit. And, uh, you know, depending on your speed, at this, this. On the Mississippi, it's hard to do. Yeah, you can't. On the Mississippi, you can't. The water's going three, four mile an hour. I think I got some little ones down there hitting. Might have some small ones tapping on us. Yeah. So we're going over some small ones. He's back. Fish is back. We call it the Zach attack. It was almost like I was there. Been fishing so much with you guys. I could feel the excitement. There you go. <laughs> I'm still excited. I'm just now settling down. I, I ain't kidding. Yeah, my adrenaline's still I, sky I'm high. Still, still a little shaky, and it's been 30 minutes. That's He's got the same thing. When I, when you're in the boat, it don't matter if you catch the fish or if you're helping in the boat when the fish comes in. It's still just super exciting. Woo! I won't lie and say I'm not just tickled to death that uh, I, I I stuck the hook in him, but that's uh yeah it's it's exciting just 
just yeah. being here and, and being part of it and all that and it's in the boat and, <laughs> i'm starting to get work back up i gotta quit yeah i'm trying to settle down a little bit but chilling rushing out the door for a 10 a.m meeting dmv got you buddy after seeing you fish earlier i need at least a 30 30 plus tonight hey we're almost to the area where you caught a, a big pick yesterday i marked it yeah we caught a was that the 41 i don't know that, i think that was a 38 and a half yeah, it's more of a 41 was early Yesterday we had a 42, 25, a 38 and a half, a few in the high teens. A couple. Hey, there may not be a lot of fish back here because the current slowed down. So yeah, yeah. It might just be a. We might need to. We'll work it just a little focus bit. Focus things a little different. I want to go back here a ways though and just yeah, make sure. I did too. I'm right on. I'm right there with you. If we don't, then we know. You know, we've got a better idea. Yeah. Somebody did drop something. Time for minis. Congratulations on the hog. I'll be back once the meetings are over. Thank you, Brandon. Appreciate it. Sure never caught a fish that big. Uh, me neither. <laughs> My PB until I got down here was 43 pounds. I, kept, I almost doubled it. I smashed it. Smashed it. <laughs> he pulled a skip. He just he just jumped over the 50s and 60s and yeah roger went over the 60s too i almost went straight to the 80s 78 pounds it, it was bouncing between 79 and 80. 79 and 80. But yeah se 79 and 80 in the net so you know we deducted the net off pound and a half for the net without the handle oh i, don't, I need to send a picture of that to don oh let, let me let me those pictures come Oh, I don't know. Oh, that was a big carp. Carp jumping out of the water back here. Pontoon Jody, good old Tennessee River fog. We're, we're not marketing any fish back to you now. Jody, we, uh, I know you was watching yesterday and you're interested in this uh, bumping below Naked Jack. If you weren't there at the very beginning of the stream, 78-pound blue cat bumped up on our first pass down through here. We've caught fish every pass so far. That first pass caught one about 10 pounds and then 178. Zach's caught one about 13 pounds, I think, earlier. Is that about right? We, you know, we just enjoy catching them. It, it's, we don't, it's not about pounds and ounces until you, you know, you get something in the 25 to 30 pound range and then we, we weigh them. But under that, we're just, we just love it. Have a good time. Yeah, see, but there's still a few, some bait back here, but nothing like there was up that way. Let's go run it again. Yeah, let's, let's go back. Up. All right, we're going to we'll go and run back up. We're going to run back up. Bump it again. I got hit several times there. I can't see what they're doing to my face. You don't have any bait. <laughs> they hit it several times. Zach was getting hit. That's here's what's left of his bait. Here's what they do. That's when you, when you get into some small ones. Go that, that's a little bit, I think it was smaller fish, just the way they were hitting. But, oh, well. All righty. There's a, that might be, looks like it might be a few small fish, not one big one. Oh. Roger, what are you trying to say that my little three pound catfish a couple weeks ago don't count? Of course it counts. If that's your PB, that's the biggest fish of your life. I'm just saying my fish probably ate three of those this morning. I'm joking. Fat cat, that's right. Mike's 
Fishing Home. Welcome. Thanks for uh, tuning in. Mike Chavez. Big old tall shoulders. Yeah, that, that fish was a tank. Tank. Okay, here we go. A lot of bait and stuff back here. There is some bite right there. Actually, those are decent sized fish. Yeah. It's a little school. Of, looks like catfish. Especially that one there in the, towards the back. I don't know. They're kind of tall, though. Yeah. Side view. It might be something. It might be swimming this way. Well, you, they're looking like swimming at me. Yeah. Some of them. That, that's the, the height and the width. Probably. Looks more like a tall, skinny fish. Look at the camera a little bit. There we go. We're going to run back up and run it again. So we're bumping basically at, that run there was about three quarter mile. Uh, but that's the farthest we've gone so far. So less than three quarter miles is what we're running. And uh, we'll come up to the dam fairly close. Uh, I'll spin it around here for you guys real quick. You guys can tell we're pretty close. Get too close. It's all turbulent water. You can't hardly see anything anyway. All right, the, the, the current's just doing so much stuff, your, your bait doesn't end up. You are ready? Yeah, I'm ready. We're ready. Right up here close, the surface uh, speed is, is faster than the speed on the bottom. So the boat's going faster than my bait. So you got to really kind of play play around with it, uh, keep that bait up off the bottom. We're on the trolling motor on about six, six and a half on average. Once we get farther back, we kind of back it off a little bit. 
eats up a lot of battery. Um, Zach made an uh, investment and bought a generator from uh, Harbor Freight. And, uh, and it makes a world of difference. Yeah, it, you know, even staying at a hotel, I think takes one gallon of gas and will run for, what, 12 hours? Run about 12 hours on a gallon. And that's plenty enough to charge everything you got. You know. Ain't nobody over there. No, there's a blue hair. That's what I see. Hung up there on the bottom, got it out. On that dropper, on your dropper line, you want to run a, a, a lighter line. You don't want to run your 80 pound test on your sinker. We, we basically want to run, we run about 20 pounds. Uh, I got 17 on right now, but 17 to 20 pound, you want it to be you know stiff enough to where it's not going to break off over and over again. But if that gets hung up in a rock, especially if you got a fish on, you want that thing to break away and get your leader and, and your hook and everything back and your fish, or even just you know, bumping down through here, you get hung up. At least you get your leader and your hook and all your gear back. You just lose a sinker. It'll save you some money. I'm going to run it down through here. Epic, I'm in the same boat. I'm at work, but have but have to watch. This is, this is epic type of fishing here, man. He, he likes to fish them crazy, rapid, just nasty, turbulent water. And that's, you know, up here, it's about the only safe way to do it is, is this bumping. Let your boat drift back with the current and uh, bump your bait along the bottom. See if you can't put the bait right in one, one of their faces. Like that. Move. Yeah, do you see that? Butt, see him dancing around like that? Still got my bottom, got my glasses on. <laughs> Magical. Down, down here, these dams, I mean, you can get, I mean, we could tie it to the daggone wall if we want to. I mean, you can get yeah, super duper well, close. Our dams at home, they, you know, they're all blocked off. You can't get very close. Oh, fish. Fish on. Flipping around, I think it's small. When I'm watching the video, I like to hear the clicker. I don't think he's all that big. We're gonna tilt down a little bit. There we go. Yeah, he's flipping. See how that rod's jerking around like that? That's you know, it's gonna be a, it's not gonna be a, a turkey sized fish. Generally. Coming up. You're on your own. <laughs> Decent fish. 
turn the camera a little bit for you. Oh, he got wrapped up. That hook is not good. I may lose this fish, but he's not a giant. I'm not going to let Zach stop his run to get him. I missed. Oh, you got Get you guys turn back around here. We get part of the action. Another, another little pretty blue. <laughs> All right, good picture. Well, he's on the phone. Hey, can somebody take a screenshot for me? He's on the phone with Doc Lang, and uh, we don't hang up on Doc Lang. That's good enough. <laughs> Hopefully somebody was able to get a screenshot for me. If not... He's gone. Cannonball sinkers just love to get caught up in your net. That didn't sound like a carp, the way the tail flopper.
I'm not going to go all the way back. We're going to run back up and do it again. Way out Parkway. Parkway. We're going to run Parkway up there. Sent to you, Rog. Hey, thanks. Appreciate that, buddy. Good. Yeah, looks good. We didn't get too far down through there. Things kind of got. I caught one, and uh, we got a phone call from Doc, so we uh, we got a little off track, off course. We wanna, we didn't get too far, so we're just gonna start it over. John Boy, what's up? Good morning. Off the res. Y'all have a great, safe one. Hook them up. That's right, man. Thank you. I appreciate that. J Dog's in the house. What's up, J Dog? J Dog. I got a new PB. Got the biggest catfish of my life. At the very beginning of this live stream, I actually wasn't planning on going live for about another hour uh, that I scheduled it for once we got started. But I hooked that fish, and I could tell it was a good one. I had no idea it was going to be uh, going to be that good. 78 pounds. I About saw a, that tail flip up out there, like, and he was still under the water. He was that long, and his tail was here. Wow. Epic says, rough seas, fog, and monsters. Yeah, we're hoping to find another monster laying in here. Backwards just that fast. You can, you can cut the motor. It's, we're, we're going backwards quick. Go two and a half miles an hour in reverse.
you guys can see how crazy the water is back there. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. I don't know. They let more water out of the dams, what they did. Look at it. Oh, they got rough in it. That's awesome. That, that's going to help. Yeah, they, uh, they open up the dam a little bit more. We're getting more flow, which is actually better. Uh, we like the more flow. The more current we got, the, the better. One, it's easy to control the boat, and uh, it seems like we get more action. And they got water cranking down through here. I don't even know what our actual current speed without the color motor would be. That's a big something coming out of the fog. Oh, no, that's the boat. I thought it was way off. It's the boat. Yeah. I thought it was a ship or something in the background. The fog got me all messed up. We got a, got a couple cat fishermen coming in on us. Don't know that they'll be bumping or what they have to do, but. They don't end anchored up back here behind us somewhere, and we're gonna have to navigate around them. Keep on going down through here. Black Chrome 84. I've had problems with just line rattles adding extra buoyancy and having a hard time keeping the bait on the bottom. So the demon dragon surprises me. It, it's all about boat control. You know, we're, we're, our boat's going fast. Uh, we're running 1.6 right now, which we were running over two. Uh, in slower current, the line rattles do add buoyancy and actually cause your bait to pull out. Yeah, when you got a, if you got a lot of current, if you're on the Mississippi, I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, you know, there's so much current, you don't need any help. A lot of things play a factor on on uh, what's going to pull that line out. But uh, you know, your line diameter plays a factor. Your bait, if you hook the bait with the mouth shut, or you hook the bait with the mouth open, that'll play a big factor. You know, sometimes you gotta, you need more pull. And uh, you hook that, hook the, your bait through the nose and uh, let his mouth hang open like a drift sock. That would get you a better pull. We really like to bump two to three ounces. We just kind of keep the boat going whatever speed we got to. We just adjust the boat to make sure that we're bumping the, feeling the bottom okay. Coming back into the power lines, this is our, this has been our hot spot, our go-to. Gets a little bit slack, there it went. Line goes a little slack right here, the current, the under pull is, goes to nothing. So you get like no pull on your line. And then we're 14 foot of water and it's gonna drop into 20 something. As soon as you, as soon as we, as soon as we walk over that, that hump, we put that fish, so. 
just about to the power line now. Still 14 foot of water. My bait's not 14 foot of water. Back there. I just seen that. I saw it. Put the head up. That got bumped. 12, 13 foot of water should get ready to drop here in just a second. I seen his rod drop. He had one on for a second. for just a few feet and then came right back up and then that hole was laying fish. Uh, you know, our bait may not have took the path to put it right in front of them. Your stream of scent and this much current is very narrow. So, you know, you're fishing calm water and you imagine a cone going out from your, your bait back. Uh, and this fast of water, your scent cone is very, very small. Epic, if he's still in here, he can explain better as far as uh, the detection zone and where they they know that baits are near them and their uh, their strike zone. Testing over here, it dropped. It will, but through the first power line, so we usually. Hit again. There it goes. It just went from uh, 13 foot to 19 foot, 20. Tim Molina, what's going on, buddy? That was perfect, Roger. Thank you, appreciate that. I, I try to pay attention to what you said. J Dog didn't have any news on that muskrat. Uh, you know, I need to call my call that guy. I actually stopped in at the shop uh, a couple days before we came down here, and he said he would. He thought he'd have my boat done by Saturday, but I haven't heard from him yet. So I'll probably give him a call this evening. And uh, he works during it. He does it as a side job. That's why it's taking so long. He he works full time during the day. They've been running uh, seven twelves for like a month. So he hasn't been able to get a whole lot of work done, and he was waiting on a part uh, for the boat forever. So 
Well, that didn't help me none either. In the village, a bunch of Purple Hearts. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you. If you guys haven't hit the thumbs up yet, smash it. Smash that thumbs up. Seventy-eight pounder at the beginning of the stream. We uh, went back and seen your fish. It beats the brakes off of you. It beat the brakes off of you. Yeah. Yeah, that thing was slapping the tar out of me, man. He did not want to get his picture taken. He said, "You're going to remember me," which ain't no problem. We released him back. He was, he was good and healthy. It's a, it's a lot cooler this morning, and and you know moisture in the air. Try to release him back as quickly as possible. He ain't going nowhere until we got a picture. Comes the other catfish boat They're drifting down next to us. Oh, there it is. They might have been doing stuff. Tipped up, they had a rod out. Outdoors with Big Matt. What's going on, guys? Biggest fish of my life. That's daggone right, Skip. Avid's in the house. I, I can't remember if I said good morning to Avid or not. If I didn't, good morning. If I did, good morning again. I know I missed some po folks in and out of chat. get another fish on this run we have so far we haven't made a a run or a bump down through there without catching a fish wait you caught one didn't you i know it i don't know since uh, not on this pass last pass you caught one Hard now, and here's a, here's an instance where the uh, current underneath is faster than the current on top. And the boats are still doing over one mile an hour, and uh, the current underneath was going faster and just pulling pulling the line. Every bump, it was taking you know, two three feet of line out. Working our way down through here, see if we can't find us another fish. I'm leaving running, but dropping out chat for a bit. Oh, I just had a hit. Stuff to do. Mike's home. Uh, Mike's fishing home. Thanks for stopping in, buddy. I appreciate it. Just had one hooked up. Thank you. 
side. Facebook users, good luck, guys. I work so dang much now, I can't get back out there. Uh, Facebook user, if you allow permissions uh, on the on the live stream on the oh on Facebook, if you allow notifications, they'll let me see your name. But uh, whoever you are, thank you for that, and uh, hopefully you can get back out on the water soon. They have a. Facebook changes their no, their uh, permissions policies and stuff through StreamYard, where if you're on Facebook, you have to allow StreamYard permission to use your name, which is me saying your name. Why don't you catch the ocean? If you miss a fish, a fish, can you reel in a little and bring it back before the fish and try to get him again or no? Yes. You can actually, but it takes a quite a ways because you'd have to reel it in. A, you got to get set up and get, you get started again. Yeah, yeah. So technically, you could. Uh, you'd have to. It's not practical. Depends on how far back you are. Right now, I'm pretty far back. So if I missed a fish right there, I could reel it back up here real quick and drop it down and try to get in front of him again uh, before the boat gets there. But we don't. We don't normally do that. But you could. Not practical. Yeah, it's not. It's not practical way to do it. You're better off just keep on going and uh, wait for the next fish. Or, you know, if you miss him, your bait's not going that fast. He can. He can still get it. If he's uh, you know, if he's going to actively bite, he'll. We're back in. All right, we got back about far enough to where we want to be. We're going to run back up. Yeah, they got my bait again. <laughs> Looks like it did last time. Look at that. Eight mil, eight it, eight it up. Get the troll motor back up. Justin Molador, Roger, you're not going to beat a 78 pound fish. You might as well reel in and go home. I, don't, I can catch 10 pounders all day and still be happy. Are you using drifting weight or for bouncing? No. Use a cannonball uh, because you want to feel the bottom. Uh, we're not letting it. We're not dragging it. We're just we're it's bumping and then picking it up and bumping it and picking it up. And a cannonball is is has more surface contact than you know your other sinkers. So a cannonball is the preferred weight. Some guys use like bank sinkers and whatnot. Uh, I just like the cannonballs. Here we go. See if they can spot them other Yeah, I'm They had those bumpers on like they were going to go. I think they are. Taking it easy in the fall here. We do have another boat to around. A lot of these guys go right to the damn wall and tie up. Uh, we saw some guys do it the other day, and they they caught a lot of fish. But they you know, they got small small catfish, and uh, they got a lot of drum, freshwater drum. So didn't look like what we wanted to do, but 
my whole Giants, I've heard of guys catching, there they are. I've heard of guys catching, you know, 100 pound fish up there right at the damn wall with, you know, you get some back eddies and some crazy, turbulent, crazy stuff. There's always little pockets of calm water in there that you can get in. These guys, they might be skipjack fishing there. They're fishing the edge of the current seam off the dam. We bumped out through the dam yesterday. We didn't have much luck. We didn't really see what we wanted to see. We're having more, more consistent luck over here running off the hydros. Back at it. There you go. And here we go. Yeah, I think they fall all the way back there. Something had hold of it. He got off the skip back there. We've been, we tried yesterday <clears throat> drifting deep holes. And what we would do is we'd kind of take off drifting down through there. And uh, we started marking a lot of fish. We'd just spot lock on them for, you know, five to ten minutes. Give them a chance to eat if they're going to eat. And, uh, you know, if not, we just keep on making our way down through those deep holes. We, we try to major pinch point uh, the river at flats on both sides, just a perfect hourglass shape. You thought something ought to be hanging out there. But, uh, no luck. We just did that all morning to the afternoon, and we had had some success up here bumping the evening before that. And we said, heck with it. Let's go back to bumping. That was working. So we came back yesterday evening and bumped. Of course, had a good time. Caught some, some nice fish. A couple in the 30 to 40 pound range. A bunch of teeners. And uh, we decided this morning, you know what? Let's not fool around. Let's just go back to what's catching fish. Let's go bumping. It's just so much fun. And it's working. And here we are. Our dams usually, we don't have enough water flow on the Ohio to consistently bump uh, 
most of the time. Uh, you could bump just for a little bit right behind some of the dams, depending on if they're letting any water out. These guys are going to go faster than us, I think. Yeah. Oh, we got the bandit frogster in the house. Good morning. Hello. Thanks for tuning in. I don't think I've had a bite the last two runs. Fish on. Got a fish. Let's flip it around so it's not likely to be a big fish. Running right up, right up the river. It's going up river. <laughs> Holy cow. Might be better than I thought. current these fish are kind of hard to judge. It might be a high teens, low twenties, I can't I only got to see one time. Quite ready yet. Check it. Oh. Look at that. Go team, go. Quality fish. Turn the camera around for you guys. Uh, All right, so hurry up and snap the picture so uh, <laughs> he wants to. All right, you guys getting this? Another look at him. Oh, big bur burping. The scale ain't quite working properly so I'm not even gonna mess with waning. Uh I'd say 20 20 to 22 maybe
24. 24 pounds. They're all, man, we can't guess them. We can't guess them at all. I tell you. <laughs> there he goes. Big old fat belly. Just like me. 24 pounds. We'll send him back. Gone. He gave a little, little wave on the way out. <laughs> oh man. Got him in the power lines, didn't I? Wasn't even paying attention. Wow, big one. Thank you, uh, Facebook user. You guys see, if you're commenting, this is what I see on my side, and it just says Facebook user. You got to allow uh, StreamYard permission through Facebook to I mean to see your name. Epic still watching. Thank you, brother. Got the big thumbs up from Tim Scott. <laughs> Tug is the drug, man. Feeling these fish tug on the end of the line, especially bopping. You know, you the rods in your hand, and a, a 10, 20, 78 pound fish grabs a hold of it, takes off. He wants to take your rod with him. Nothing like it. We uh, we we didn't take any measurements on that fish. We used the scale avid heading to bed thanks for stopping in brother appreciate it i sent you many screenshots roger thanks mike chavez appreciate that good morning larry three plus one <laughs> I Larry, I actually didn't mean to send you all those pictures. I uh, I don't know what happened. I had I, I forwarded those pictures to a couple of folks, and uh, apparently, uh, you were supposed to get some pictures this morning because uh, <laughs> they 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 all ended up getting sent to you. But uh, who doesn't like waking up to a bunch of fish pictures? <laughs> but thanks for stopping in, Larry. Three plus one. Scott, are you in Tennessee there or another? Or is there another Nickajack? No, we're we're in Tennessee. Um, Fishing right below Nick and Jack Dam. Larry, uh, if you if you didn't catch the beginning of the stream, the very first fish on the stream today, 78 pound blue cat. Biggest fish I ever caught in my life. They are having an epic trip. Kind of spit us over there, ain't it? We're on track. I mean, it's heading the right direction. Gotcha. Where we want to be. Yeah. It, it is. It looks good. There's a nice, good current seam right here. 
Welcome, Muskrat. You're just down the road from where I live. Love fishing that lake. Yeah, we uh, fished uh, the lake uh, a good bit. Some deep holes didn't have a whole lot of success. We've uh, been doing pretty good here bumping at the dam. So, You live down here. Is this something that, that a lot of people do? I don't know that I've ever really seen videos or anybody bumping this dam. Uh, and we haven't seen anybody do it. Kind of surprised. Uh, it seems to be pretty effective. We were fishing like eight rods yesterday. Yeah, it didn't have the success we got coming down here using one rod bumping. Yeah, Larry, I caught it bumping this morning, man. We uh, I had to. Oh, oh, oh. Had a hit. We, uh, I, I scheduled the live stream. It gave us about an hour head start to get out here and get things situated and get get started. On the very first pass, we caught uh, about a 10 pounder of like <laughs> two minutes into the drift and then uh, hooked up on that big one. And I knew it was big, but I didn't have any idea it was that big. So I just went ahead and started the live stream early. It's just absolute fruits. I kicked the camera on and said, hey, let's just start going live right now. And, uh, it ended up being the 78. I love fishing at Naked Jack, but I've never done any bumping there. Larry, I don't, I don't know if you've ever bumped before. If you know how and you're able to, I, I, I would recommend trying. It, uh, it is awesome. The barometer is 30.11. Yep. About what it's been. 30. Yeah, it, it's, it's been that for the last couple of days here, so it hasn't really fluctuated much. Uh, you know, it's been consistent. Water has not been consistent. Um, I, have, I don't have the... Uh, we haven't looked at the, the schedule or the flow uh, at the dam or hydros. I know last night when we left at dark and came back this morning, the, the water was coming up when we left, but it ended up coming up and going back down about three, maybe four feet overnight. Because there was not a trash line on the boat ramp, and this morning there was a trash line uh, about three feet from the edge of the water, maybe four feet. We just they moved a lot of water as we could tell in the lake yesterday we had pretty good flow Off the back of the center, the center of the river, the 
Yeah, Chat Cat does a lot of free lining in that area. Uh, most of the time I see him, he's at Chickamauga, uh, which which I did bump Chickamauga as well. Uh, we caught a 39 and a half and uh, a few other uh, decent fish. Uh, so we, we tried, we actually started there looking for a skipjack. Did not catch a single skipjack. Uh, we was throwing our spoons and jigs and we ended up catching a couple of bass. And uh, that's all we had for bait. So we said, heck with it. We used cut up bass and uh, caught that 39 um, on a chunk of largemouth bass. They are running 41,600 right now. They always move more water in the evenings. Got you. I'm glad someone brought up the barometer pressure. Do you have a video explaining how the barometer pressure affects the bite? I don't because I don't understand it. For me, it's more about consistency. Uh, lower barometer seems to be possibly a better bite. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. We we prefer a lower barometer. Uh, Falling barometer, I guess. Yeah. Twenty eight to twenty nine. Well, twenty nine. I don't know if I haven't seen twenty eight. They were on fire. They was on fire. <laughs> they was on fire. Okay. All right, we're going to run back up. I'm going to get that off the screen there. I think we need to turn around earlier after that. We're not getting anything back here. Well, if we, I think if we were able to stay over that way, that way, yeah, we might. It just it spits us out. Well, I can focus and try to keep us over there. We can try a couple of times. I'll tell you what I'll do. We'll Don't just work. do our normal thing, and when we get back to this focal point, I'll try to keep us over there. Okay? Man, I got all kinds of got a bunch of grass on the line. All right. A lot of grass down through here yesterday up on the high grass. Huh? Kiss my grass. Kiss my grass. There was a lot of there was a lot of grass moving. Big old grass mats coming down the river yesterday when we was fishing. I know I've heard guys talk about it, but you know we had never experienced it until now. So. We do pay. We do look at the barometer, um, but you know, we're going to fish no matter what. <laughs> it doesn't matter what it says. Uh, it just kind of gives us, just gives us a little bit of something to keep in our mental log is the fish were active or not active. Miss Jody, doing your homework. I'm getting someone's visa ready. <laughs> Another boat working 
Fisherman landing a fish over here. You guys can check them out for a minute. Don't know what they're fishing for. Try to one-up me. <laughs> Got a nice little blue cat. Uh, we ended up not where I want to be. Sucking us over here. He said they caught a bigger one. I, did he say the other day or the other week? I, I couldn't hear him. He said that wasn't nothing compared to the other one he caught. actually on that same I was talking about. It all looks good. They don't have troll motor now, so they're going to go fast compared to what we do. Looks like a good day to fire up that camp stove and cook a good lunch. Hey, we've got the we've got the grill packed up. Cheddar batters are ready to roll. We just can't, it's going to be hard to get us to stop fishing long enough to eat. Here you go. Here we go. Try a little bit different path this time, see if we don't change our luck. Be back soon. Water's cranking down through there. Now we could we could probably downsize our baits and hook up with some of these smaller fish, but this is not where we're after. I want to be able to fish. Any. Of course, it don't take much of a fish to eat a whole skipjack. This, you know, ten inch skipjack. And we're cutting about two inches off of him, so we're at about eight inch size baits. Power lines already. That was fast.
Will O, good morning. Thanks for stopping in. Looks like they just got weight over the side of the boat, just kind of holding it in their hand and yeah. keeping it off the bottom. Oh, fish on. That's why I lost the bottom. There was a fish running up river at me. Fish on. I'm at the power line. Here we are. He hit it and it was running straight up river. Mm. It feels good. I don't know how good. He ain't flipping around acting crazy. It's good. He did pointing drag. He still. He's a good fish. My drag is really pretty tight. Another big fish. Got it. Woo! <laughs> Baby. <laughs> Here we go again. He ain't no 78, but he's good. I don't need help with it.
there's the picture right there. <laughs> what do you guys think about that? We're going to try to get a weight on him real quick. Here's a tip for you guys on these big nets. <laughs> I'm missing out on my good, good fish at time. You're catching all the fish. What I'm saying was I, I flip the net over and give it to, so it's not so high up off the floor. Forty-three in the net, so about forty-one and a half. Forty-one and a half. Forty-one and a half. Whoo, boy! Nice. Yes, sir. Yeah, baby. <laughs> I love it. Love it. Oh, he's biting down on me, dude. Turn him loose. Guys, get a good look at it. Yeah, baby. <laughs> oh. Let's turn it loose back here. Keep oh. pulling out of my hand. He gone. Holy smokes. Now we should have proper spin. What is it? Yeah. Yeah. I got a fresh on. We're gonna spray this deck off. We got he slimed up everything. Top deck, lower deck, everything. Dangerous. and repeat. Try that seam again. I mean, we ended up kicked this over towards the bank, but you know, better get kicked that way. It was okay. I mean, we we just try to do the same thing. We can try. That guy slapped me in the face. I got catfish slime in my eye. Problem to have. Woo! Bear 
water. Tim, was you able to see that one? 41 pounds, 41.5. That slime makes the boat more slick. Yeah, you ain't kidding, Jody. If he didn't have that wash down pump, it'd be extremely dangerous. Uh, he's got a wash down pump and we use, we use one of the squeegees, kind of like you, you use at the car wash. It's got the squeegee on the one side and a little scrubby pad on the other. We've been using a little scrubby pad to kind of scrub the deck clean a little bit and then spray it down. That wash down pump, man, that might, I might save your life technically. My boat's deep. You'll you'll bust your butt in my boat, but uh, you shouldn't fall out. But up on that deck back here, you can fall out or you can bust a rib real quick. Who's that with you, Roger? Mike Greenwell? No, that's Mr. Zach Murray. Huh? Guys here look like they're hooked up on something big. Oh, we're getting position. No, like bringing him in. Yeah. Turn back around here. Get Zach in view. Now I got Zach Murray with me this morning. Huh? Skip Jack. Yeah, I'd like to do a bump with Mike Greenwell one day. Thank you, Uncle Lou. That's right. Generally the captain of the River Warriors. Guys was watching that mother folks over there. They uh, they were actually snagged on a log. He broke off. Maybe it was a hundred and ten pounder. We thought it was a log. Up here, close the water's doing all kinds of crazy stuff. It's going in whirlpools and circles. They don't know which way to go. Yeah, I, I love I love that look and that straight back behind us. Beautiful. Oh. 
Tiger, what's up? Real time? Coming and take me away, ha ha, hee hee. To the funny farm where life is full of happy things. Well, life is full of what? Happy things, happy things. Angler hogs in the house. What's going on, James? James, if, you, if you're just tuning in, I've had a really good morning so far. You can go back and watch the beginning of the live stream sometime. Very first fish. I'm already hooked up on the fish, actually, when I went live. 78 pound blue cat and we've had some other nice fish just caught a 41 and a half a minute ago i don't know what the fish count is up to but we're having the ball Just mark a tank. Hundred pounder. Right See if we can get him to bite. Oh man! Man, we got one hitting over here. Watch Zach behind me. Got one working on him. Tapped it two times and that was it. Is that the donkey whistle? <laughs> That's what Tim says. This is me making me want to fish there. It's uh, it's pretty awesome. We just marked a giant fish on the graph. Big, an epic size fish. That crazy turbulent water will sometimes will play play hell on your bait. Uh, Start acting all silly. <laughs> Don't do that.
Came through some water there that was just apparently just crazy. And uh, sent our baits. Some sort of crazy whirlwind. We good? Trying to get my little tangled mess here I fixed. That gonna thing braided my line. I already have braid line. I didn't need to braid it again. How in the world it made such a mess that fast? Yeah. Got all twisted up, turned around. Try to get tied back on here, get back out there before we run out of good water. guys catch a hundred pounder so I can go back to work. <laughs> we would love to oblige you. I'll see what I can do about that. We marked one up here. It was probably close to that. Yeah. Maybe bigger. It's a beast. There's a big one right there. Just went over. Really? Thick fish. Thick. Eight eight eight, hang up on me. That's what it said. <laughs> One nine hundred mix a lot. Catfish and crappie, Mark right. Gold. Grab that, please. Welcome. Good morning. <laughs> Straight to the point outdoors said 1 800 big cat. Great morning. 
got slime everywhere. Yeah, buddy, that was a tank. Yeah, we just got a 41.5 a few minutes ago. Going back up, running the drop load again. Most of our action has been in this crazier water. Once we get so far back, we just kind of seem to run out of the bigger fish. Trying to maximize our opportunities. Also want to be You have to let me know when you get your hats back in. I've got this one about faded out, slimed out. This seems to be worth doing the job. What's up, Chadwick? I'm not sure if you've been able to catch any of the live stream. I used in earlier. I'm going to assume you're probably at work. Trying to make Tuesday morning a little less painful. Put a couple fish in the boat. Thank you. 
Sean! Zach hooked up on one. Turn you guys around this way. I'm in, I'm in so I can edit. Got him right here at the power lines again. Another, another power line fish. on the floor. Couldn't ask for more. Hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh. Well, snap a picture for him and get back in action. Flip this camera around a little bit. You guys can Little fishy. Nine, ten, eleven pounds, somewhere around there. Hey, you're in. What's up? You tore your work up. Yeah, yeah, I got hit. I got hit. That might have been me. I sent that picture. I had time. I had time. All right. You ready to go back up? Almost. Oh, you broke off your weight. Yeah, my sink. We lost the sink right there. Where'd these guys get it? All right. Well, we, we've been going. Okay.
made the sound. Going on. Good luck, fellas. Stay safe. I'll listen as Are you we... ready. Yeah. There's a bait laying out. Is that mine? Yeah. Just put my bait on. Oh. In a hurry. In such a hurry, I got it prepared and didn't put it on the hook. Ready to go, sir. Just with the chat. Okay, but how about slowing it down to increase your time in that zone? If we slow the boat down, then our bait takes off too fast. We can go to heavier yeah, weight. How about you guys come pick me up and bring me back down there? Mark. That's a long drive, brother. I'll tell you what, I'll start walking your way. You start walking mine. We'll meet in the middle. I think there's a Georgia line.
Starting to heat up now. The sun's coming out. Epic anchor up on that spot, right? <laughs> uh, it'd be hard to anchor. You'd have to throw 20 ounce sinker to get it on bottom. back to the power line. Now further back here, we'll, where we're talking about this power line, we could possibly, we could probably anchor back here, but not up there where the crazy stuff is. The 
This is so much more relaxing than watching the chat fish. <laughs> I can't look away because he's always reeling up triples. I'm not reeling up triples. Is there an eagle up? Oh, yeah. Caught it just, just as it went behind the trees there. The sown eagle flying. How's that? Whenever we kept hearing that noise, mm -hmm. that there he is. Both of them. Got two eagles flying by. Checking us out. I thought I told you to take out the trash. That's what they're saying. Doing it, Mark. I want a Krampus cane. Got all twisted up there. My sinker line got tangled in my chain swivel. Watch your chain swivel stops. Swerve one. Or 
talk about the small fish down through here on the Probably won't be able to. Bad thing about running up and down through here. Hey, Chrissy. There we go. Oh, Zach's hooked up. Ain't much. We'll keep bumping for a minute. We got a fish on. We like this. It's easier to net them on this side of the boat without the cutting board. Guys, in on the action here. Doing a bunch of flipping around. Sucks. Yeah, he, he's flipping a lot. He's just wanting something. He's just wanting maybe. Maybe not quite wanting close, close to that. I, I mean, I'm, I'm trying to see through. I mean, the water's pretty clear. But... Take a step down and then take a step up. There we go. He's like a shark back here. Another nice fish. Get you guys turned around here. Check him out. I'm gonna snap a picture for him. Then we're gonna take some clothes off. He got warm. As soon as that sun hot, gonna burst that fog off. Yeah, buddy. Toasty. Got it. Got him. I'm gonna take this. Just so you don't have to send it. We gotta send it to the skip. Oh! I'll tell you what, these are feisty fishes. This fish ain't got an ounce of quid in them. When I'm trying to get over here and show it to you, Roger don't want to move. <laughs> he finally got to sit down for a second. There you go. He's, I don't know, 21, maybe. I don't know. I got to get a fishing. Okay. You can know to throw a couple back, don't we? Yeah, I know. Got him. Got him.
and they swim away. All right, I got toasty. I'm going to peel this. Uh, Beautiful. Peel this slimy, crusty shirt off. Great fish, says Mark. Catfish and crappie. Yay. Go team, go. Sunglasses in there last night. I got them in here. See, and that was in shallow water. Yeah. Look at that. Look at it. Those are fish. I know. I'm going to take them. They're good. 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 I threw stuff in there and it disappeared. Oh, they're here. They're just behind something. They were there the whole time. Get some clothes off. Some sunglasses on. says back to work. Hopefully you got to at least see a couple fish. I almost caught one. It's as big as yours. Sean. 78 and a half or 78 pounds. That was a tank. been back this far generally it's shallow so maybe they're up here trying to feed or something you know we're marking what well, looks like a lot of fish on the bottom down through here now we're only in 11 12 foot of water the fish we've been catching in the uh, 20 foot of water range kind of fluctuates down through here it goes up and down a lot but it seems like we're getting them in the little in the drop. in the deeper pockets it's bass or something yeah I, I heard a splash Roger you forgot your life oh yeah well, back here, it's not that bad, but thank you. You're right. I took my shirt off, forgot my life jacket. I'll have to back home, trust me, before we head back up to the dam. I could probably fish him out of the water back here, okay, but get up close to that dam, buddy. Depends if I'm dead weight or not. I'm fat. No. <laughs> he ain't pulling me up overboard, I don't think. No, but I, I'd probably just lash, tie, him, tie his feet off to the side of the boat or something. Probably. What time? My feet? Like back here trying to do this. Luckily, there's a ladder on the back of this boat. I can get back in. It's a uh, it's a huge safety concern. That they they make ladders that go you know that you can lay over the rail of the boat if you've got a boat that doesn't I got have one at the house for my other boat. Yeah. I still got it. I need to get one for my for my uh, my boat. Well, but well, the once you just take that one because I don't need it. Does it hang over the side yeah. of the gunnel? Yep. Yeah. It's got like their hoops. Well, you know what my. Oh, okay. And, you, and I think it folds up when you're not using it. That'd be great. I can like the, the store thing. Yeah. Kind of lay flat. Yeah, having a, having a way to get back in your boat is uh, 
It's something to always think about. Uh, and they, you know, nobody ever thinks they're going to go in. But ask anybody who's ever gone in, they didn't think they were going in. Remember Doc? They had to get to yeah. hang on to the game over the back. Yeah. Yep. Our, our good friend Doc Lang, they, you know, their boat sank the, uh, this, or well, I think it was this year. The rescue boat, they couldn't get in. Yeah. Yeah, they couldn't get in the rescue boat. And uh, they, they end up making it to the bank so they, they can get in the boat. And, uh, you know, it's hard to do. Uh, if you're not in tip top shape, and most of us aren't, I'm way off. These sea arcs are easy to get into compared to some of the other ones. Right. Because it's a lot the size of size away. Dang on. Yeah, you have trouble getting in if you're a young That's why I like my deep V. Young man. Deep. I, I do have some balance issues and whatnot, so got to keep it in mind. Small ones here and there. I don't see the big ones. Well, we discussed a couple options. What do you want to go with? I want to make another pass. Just one more pass. <laughs> Just one more pass. <laughs> We're hungry. It's a. It's. Hey, there's another boat. Is there? Right now. That's, that's a little boat. I seen you go up through there. Might be that guy that was in on us yesterday. That guy that was coming up through the bank. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Remember the guy in the John boat? I asked him if he wanted to fish with us. <laughs> I figured out a polite way to tell people they're in your way. The fellow was right by, he just come in right behind us, and the current's kind of doing crazy things. But he just didn't give two craps about whether he was in our way or not. We was fishing for skipjack. We were spot locking. He, was, he came in right in front of us. We couldn't cast. I could, I could hit him. I just asked him politely. I said, do you want to fish with us? You want to get in our boat? He says, no. So, well, you might as well. You're close enough. Just go ahead and get in our boat. <laughs> uh, he got the hint. And he stayed away from us the rest of the time. And I was nice about it. Everybody's going to jump on the bounce, bounce, bounce train. Right? Yeah, we got progression. Anyway. It's. It's all good. Okay, I will shoot her an email. I must, I must have missed something there. I think we're adding to the pontoon as a ladder. Not even, not sure it even has one. I think uh, we're probably, we're out here. Don't tell anybody what you're catching these other guys. Okay. Right here. It's going to get away. <laughs> yep, here's, not that I blame them, but here's a tip. When the other guys are nearby, don't tell them I caught a 78 pounder earlier this morning and a 41 right in front of me. Because now they're, now they're directly, they were not anywhere near what we were doing. And they have, now they've been in the way. And that ain't our river, but. That's just human nature. Oh, yeah. I, I you know. Thing is, they're not doing what we're doing exactly. I want to go to work for them. I wanted to tell everybody. Guys, look at it! Look at that fish! I was blown up. Shoot, I sent Larry a whole group of pictures this morning by accident at 5.30 in the morning. From 3 plus 1 outdoors on accident. I'm trying to show everybody I knew. Hey, look at this. Look at all these fish we got. Man, we're having a good time. Wish you were here. Picking up a few. Land, they're tight to the bottom. So we're getting hungry. We're trying to figure out how we want to go about fixing our cheddar batters. Our one option was to spot lock and just put some, put a couple rods out and and back here in this slower current or throw an anchor or whatever. The other option is to suspend drift a couple rods uh, down through here and just cover some water while we're cooking. So it takes suspend drifting takes some work as well. If you especially if you don't know the area. Uh, there's a lot of ups and downs down through here. So you're constantly reeling your lines up and, and then dropping them back down to stay close to the bottom. So it takes, it takes a lot of, a lot of effort. Zach says one more pass before lunch. Yeah, we're going to, we've been, we've been fasting. Hey, over behind those tanks. Keep an eye over there. I think we can keep back there. Oh yeah. 
Oh, yeah, we could have done that, too. Went up there and tied off to the wall, caught a couple skip jacks. Huh? <laughs> we, we forgot all about that stuff. <laughs> Somebody tried to get a hold of him. They just they didn't have big enough bite. They didn't have anybody on this. Jacket back on. Thank you, Christy, for reminding me. Thomas, what's going on? S Steve Sellers, what kind of boat are you all in? Just got on here. You are keeping me sane at work. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Sea Art uh, Pro Cat 200. There it is. Sea Art Pro Cat 200. Zach's boat. 200 horse Suzuki on it. Man, this thing is a fishing machine. Great boat. 36 volt Minn Kota. Yeah, that, that's, that's probably one of the most important features is your trolling motor. Uh, we both run 36 volt Minn Kota, uh, 112 pound thrust trolling motors. And if you're a river fisherman, uh, you can never have too much power. If your boat can handle that much weight, I highly suggest going with the biggest trolling motor that you, that you can afford. And if you have to save up to afford the better, next one, save up, it's worth it. It, it creates a lot of opportunity for you uh, to be able to, to do like we're doing today or, you know, spot lock and current. Right. Yeah, we're gonna have to run the generator here. I didn't check the battery, but we're down around probably 30% on the battery on the trolling motors now. You guys fishing ready? the bank up there? Yes, I'm ready. We got a gen generator to help things out, but once we fire it up, it's gonna be very difficult for you all to hear us, I believe. So we'll probably end up shutting things down. But before we do that, we're gonna bump one more pass. One more time. One more time. Yesterday, Zach said that one more time. He caught a 34. Well, I don't remember what he He caught another thing. 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 He caught another thing.
bluegrass state of mind. What's going on, buddy? Get them Tennessee River blue cats. I'm working on it. Look at this big be only 70 or 80. <laughs> Billy Martin, good morning. Or after, I don't even know what time it is. I'll just say hello. We're in the power. Well, right there, that's where all the big things are. Doc said to go down the river to the bridge, behind the bridge. Has life. What's going on? What's up, Zach and Roger, buddy? You're missing a good, good day down here. We uh, got a, uh, the very beginning of the stream. If if you end up going back and watching, I kicked the live stream on when I was hooked up with a 78 pound blue cat, biggest catfish of my life. And uh, we've caught a 78, uh, 41 and a half, 25, oh, 24, something like that. We got a lot of fish today. Caught some nice fish today. Yeah, things have definitely slowed down. The morning bite was, was definitely hotter than uh, than what it's been since the sun came out. We had a beautiful foggy morning, crazy water, fog. Epic was in here earlier. He said that that's monster. Crazy waters and fog. A couple other cat fishermen out here today. There's another boat that looks like they're bumping. They're doing the same thing. They're doing it a little bit different strategy but same effect they're using their they're using their uh big motor on the back of the boat it's a little john boat like a 40 horse or actually a 25 horse and they just got it in gear slowing their boat down Last couple passes we, when we first started out the stream. Well, we got 36 people in here. It must be lunchtime. <laughs> we had we first started out the stream. We was catching fish every single pass down through here. We're only running about actually about a half a mile uh, stretch is what we're bumping. We get to the end of about that half a mile mark. 
we're gonna run back up to the dam and do it again. And we was catching fish every single pass, but uh, things have slowed down here. About the last hour or so, things have been. That, a lot of fish right here. That caught a nice one just a few minutes ago, really though. Uh, just had a hit. I was just very, very to say, Let's go back up. <laughs> It is lunchtime and we're hungry. Time for some cheddar batters. You ain't kidding. It was a beast, has a da donkey. When Epic gives you the title of donkey, that's a good fish. You don't hand those out. Take a while to wipe the grin off my face, I'll tell you that. Steve says, Epic, you cost me a ton of sheep sleep the other night. <laughs> Congrats to these, Sean. Yeah, I didn't get to go back and finish watching it, uh, uh, Tim. I know you and Sean. I, I saw uh, Sean's uh, monster. Brandon's Outdoor Adventure. Hello, welcome. Thanks for stopping in. Try to put one more fish in the boat before lunchtime. We're trying.
Come on, fishy, fishy, fishy. I'm working some big fish underneath the boat now. We've seen some, I mean, we've seen some of the biggest marks we've ever seen on the graph. One for sure this morning. Might be the hundo we're looking for. Even the fish we had yesterday, the 41, 39, and or the 30, 41, the 34, and that 25, that's a hundred and some pounds of fish. That's a, that's a good spot in the tournament. Tim, did you guys end up doing any better? Any, any catching any other big fish at night? Oh, oh man, look at that. The cat here. What's he doing up there? Well, he's heading back down. Heard about, heard about us. <laughs> These guys give away free food. Right here. Come on, catfish. Step right up. Free portraits and piercings. Come get you some. Yeah, the boat's right next to us. Now we're going completely sideways the other way. Towards the bank or the way? That way. I mean, it made a 120 degree turn. We were going that way. Yeah, the current said it's right out. Yeah. I'm not sure what all's going on. Out We're reeling them up. Congrats on that tank, Roger. Way to almost double your PB. Yeah, no kidding, brother. That is a uh, that is a stud fish. We've got fresh bait, good tackle, a good captain. Makes it all. You got you to gotta put it all together. If we, if we caught one fish down here, that was decent. It'd be one thing, but we've caught several in the 30s, the 40s pound range. And uh, and then that one monster tank there to polish things off. I'm getting another piece of bait. This guy's been several passes, washed out, chewed on. All right. What are we going to do here? What do you want to do? I don't want to stop fishing, that's what. <laughs> so how can we fish and eat? Okay. How about this? We need to turn that motor. I need to start charging that thing, too. Go for and tie off to that wall. Okay. And I can. We'll just. But before we go yeah, up there, that we'll go ahead and start the motor. Up. Okay. All right. So I'm going to start the generator. Give it a second. You guys, let me know if that's too much noise. Uh, I can't imagine it is. Yeah, I got to move some stuff. Can't imagine how you get by with that thing. Huh? Like Junior and his freaking water crap all the time. <laughs> Staying. The autopilot, like the North Heading, doesn't like try to 
It doesn't turn off. I'd have to turn it off. I didn't turn it off manually. I guess it could. All right, got the generator running. Josh is here. He said he jumped in for the 41 earlier. Awesome. If you get a chance, go back to watch the very beginning. 78 pounds. That's a short. I can't, still can't believe it. That's brute. Brute. It's going to be sucking on this side, blowing on the other side.
I was saying just to use the weight on there and everything. Just drop it right down. Yeah, that's what I Yeah, buddy. There you go, double up. You got 
knows about the next thing here. Tell him to smile, make you famous. Skip Jack! Chicken liver? No kidding. We turned a big fish loose. Squirrel fish, magnet fishing. What's going on, Lance? My uh, cool guy. What's going on, brother? You got the grill fired up, burning off the uh, last meal. Sanitize. Sanitize it. We're down to 20 folks in the chat, so I'm thinking. I, I don't know if you guys can hear that generator. I'm, I'm sure it's making some noise here. got to run the generator though it's a uh, trolling motor battery's about dead that's going to run the rest of the trip probably up here. So, i think i'm going to shut her down we're going to get batteries charged up we're going to eat and charge up our batteries and uh, see if we can't get these fish to bite this morning so thank you guys for stopping in bye zach i'm roger we'll see you guys next time thank you guys for stopping by if you didn't catch the beginning, go back and check it out. It's worth it. We'll see you guys later.